Heavenly Father, we're grateful for another day. We pray that you will be with these leaders here in the county this morning and, and give them wisdom to do what uh, needs to be done for the people of this county. We also would like to pray for some rain, dear Lord. We're, we're grateful for what we get, but we can sure use some more. We also would like for you to be with our children as they head back to school. Put your armor protection around them and the teachers and the people working in the schools to protect them from this, this virus that has entered the country. We uh, pray for our national leaders also, Lord, our state leaders, and once again for our county leaders to, Lord, give them wisdom to uh, make the correct decisions. And we pray all these things, dear Lord, in your precious name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Under the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Agenda item number four, certificates of completion and awards. We have a criminal justice information services security awareness training. This is to certify that Leighton Charles York has successfully completed the level four security awareness certification 728-2020. CGIS online approved.
control of it. And maybe you do too, but I can hold that stuff up. I'm going to spin this around. Anybody have any questions or comments? Activity reports? Then we're going to move right along to agenda item number six. Richard L. Jackson County Judge, Brenda Trevino, County Auditor. Oh, at 10 a.m. we will come back to this. Agenda item number six. We have to wait a while. Okay, then we're moving to agenda item number seven. Richard L. Jackson County Judge, Robert Marrero, Elections Administrator. Uh, 7A, approve the list of judges and poll workers for the November 3rd general election. And they are right here. If anybody, oh, you've got them? Okay, good deal. Have a good day, Richard. Thank you.
uh, or go back to MetLife, however you want to yes. say it. And it'll be that, and then it will it'll also include, include the legal, the optional legal or whatever. Yes. Okay. We've got a motion and a second. Is there any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. So got that. Now we're doing the agenda item number 10, Michelle Jackson County Judge. Michelle Moore, Grants Manager, 10A, update on TCEQ ACOG Solid Waste Grant to expand Wilson County Citizens Collections Facility. Good morning, Judge and Commissioners. Um, just want to give you all some good news. We did get notification last week that we were approved. TCEQ approved the project to expand the collections facility. We are waiting on the official letter. Um, so that's um, another almost thousand dollars to the county and income to uh, extend the So that's what we got, fifty seven thousand. Fifty six nine fifteen is the actual number. And that is a match grant, so um, it's a fifty fifty cost share. Um, so we will be providing twenty four fifty seven fifty in cash through the purchase of materials. suggest that you come up with a format that you could give each of us so that we do it the same way it'll make it easier for you whenever you're putting it maybe you've already thought about that but whenever you're ready to turn it back in well part of this is waiting on the interlocal agreement between ACOG and we'll ha I'll have to come back to Wilson County who will include that interlocal agreement um, to for them to disperse the funds it is a reimbursement grant so we will incur the cost and then um, ask to request to be reimbursed. Um, they usually, well, I won't say they, some funders do have forms that are um, that they prefer their data and their information. So we'll see if they have something like that. If not, you know, I would it. I would anticipate that some, to some degree that everybody would, would be involved in it. Um, it sets in my precinct, um, but Commissioner File is the the go-to guy over there, so I would think that we'd be taking the lead, but others might participate. When can we get started, or can we get started? That is my question. As soon as we get the official and uh, the official letter and the and we approve the agreement, that's pretty much our industry. It be next physical year. I don't know. Um, they're telling me that uh, APROG is, has already prepared the interlocal agreement, so as soon as they get the official letter from TCQ, which hopefully is going to be this week, um, they're going to, APROG is going to send us the agreement, so I I uh, anticipate that we will have an agreement on the 4th, on the 24th, but we'll just see how TCQ moves. And we need to verify also, because at the time, this is almost a year-long project that we've been working on because at the time of submission, if I remember correctly, Michelle, that work needed to be completed by like the end of October or something like that. Um, and I don't know if I'm sure that probably has changed, but that's gonna, that would. October of this year? Mm -hmm. Because we started, the bid process was October last year. It was submitted in, Jan in December. So well, I think there's two performance periods. Uh, I think one's coming up. Yeah, because right? it was a fine, yeah. yeah. So it just depends on how that agreement is worded with APOG and TCQ when they're going to give us the notice to proceed with whatever they have to be. So, so I have a question in that uh, materials are a given. Um, so and we know what we're going to pay for materials. I assume that we would be building those to the general fund for reimbursement? Well, I, once we once all of it is approved, there, I'll have an actual a line item, yes, in the general fund that is specifically allocated for um, this particular grant. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see what they're going to do in terms of the start date. 
Um, money has been budgeted in the new fiscal year for this project. Um, I would suggest that we do it come October if there are not any deadlines that we have to meet through ACOG. But what about labor reimbursement, labor and equipment? Because obviously that in time is going to be uh, the use of motor graders. Uh, um, That's all included. That's included. And so yeah. we'll, will the precincts be reimbursed for the labor that we supply to do that? If we're going to be reimbursed for it, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm going to dedicate people there. We'll, we'll if, be, we will be reimbursed half of the cost of the expansion. The other half, of, which is the 2457 times two, um, is something that we're going to provide. So. But I think what he's at, you're asking by individual precincts. So yes. if your employees work on it and Paul's employees work on it, are we going to allocate the different monies to the right. reimbursement right. to the different precincts? Right. I, I mean, yes, if sir. we want to get down that detail, that I could. Well, I, I, the only reason I ask is the other tech stop uh, grant right. that we got, we have to account for material mm -hmm. and we have to account for labor and equipment. and. Um, that labor and equipment is going to cover our end time for the most part for that grant. Um, right, so but I was just wondering on if this was a different kind of grant if we were going to, in other words, if Paul and I do all the work and we use all of our people, are we going to be reimbursed because it's a county? Right, but that may just be our in kind portion. We may use the other, the 26000 in cash match maybe all material and all, so it wouldn't affect any particular precinct anyway. Well, but I guess what he's more or less saying for that equipment and man hours, we're having to put that up. We're not getting anything for it. This is our match. We're not going to get paid for our match. I guess my, my question is, is that if, and I'm not saying other people won't participate, but if Paul and I provide all of the labor for something for a countywide uh, right. issue, it seems to me that somehow we are to get some reimbursement, either from the general fund or from from the other precincts for our time putting together that thing. You know, labor and equipment still has has a value. The fuel, fuel, yeah, the whole bit. I mean, we're. We're, we're, we're laying out the funds. So he's he's basically asking of that fifty six nine fifteen that you will get, where will it be allocated? General funds or back to their if they're the ones providing well, the service. Well, our client work. Right, right, right. right. If, if, if it's coming out of our precinct to pay those employees or get fuel, would that come out of the general fund or out of the precinct itself? But I guess we'd have to, you know, material's pretty, pretty simple because when, when we have it delivered, if we have it delivered, then we can just have that bill to the county, right. to, to whoever it is. If it ends up that we have to haul it, some stuff. That can be, the hauling can be used as part of the in-kind contribution. Yeah, well, I understand. But if you but, come out of the general fund or out okay. of the precinct, that's you all, that's let me ask y'all something. Do y'all want to all work on it? Or do y'all want y'all to work on it and work out something between the other two commissioners to compensate y'all? <laughs> it's not only the compensation part because if if you're and so help me understand. So if your employees are working on this particular project and I create a line item specific to this project and their time gets allocated to this project, it doesn't come out of your budget anyway, so I'm not understanding why you would That's want what to be asking for. What's it come out of, general fund? Okay, so the general fund will be transferred over to his budget? Something out of the general fund? No, 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 it's just their time that their, their salary, their labor would not be coded to Budget his budget, it would be budget. coded to this line item for specific for this project. How does that happen? Because when payroll interest I, mean, I, I understand what the theory, but is there a, a way that we can just code it different and it comes out of the Sure, there is through payroll. <coughs> we have any fuel bill or, or equipment that's 
on that particular project. Okay, because that's going to change your uh, salary budget. On the, if it comes out of the general fund, it's not coming out of your fund. Then that's going to change. And you're going to have money left over on that person, however many could, people if, work. If they you're going to have money left over on your it, salary. It would be 80 hours or year. less in your salaries than, than this particular. I mean, well, I, that I makes hadn't more. thought about it in that much detail because I didn't realize <laughs> that y'all wanted it separated like well, this. It, so it, I can. It, it, it all, it's all money. You know, the, the fact of the matter is, is that none of us have enough money to do everything we need to do for our precincts. I mean, we're... We operate within that, and so when you start giving some of it away for the greater good, that's that's good. But it would be nice if it was shared in some form or fashion. Um, you know, we could hire somebody to but do it. But the money that I, I guess because of the money that the cash, the actual cash that we are receiving, is not a reimbursement for the salary. That is reimbursement for all of the materials sure. that it's going to cost. So that wouldn't come out. So if we were to use your employees, what, I guess. He wants compensation for his employees, I know, but correct? where would that compensation yeah, come Compensation from? for his equipment. Yeah, I, I don't know how much time it's going to be. I know, but I'm asking where but, would that but, compensation no, come from is what I'm asking. He's wanted well, that, that, that was my question initially, is, is, is that possible? You know, the equipment, I don't see charging for the equipment. Fuel is an issue, and then if I have employees over there, they're not doing what they need to do for my precinct on our pulse. And maybe a system I mean, you're looking more. at probably at least three weeks of work. I would think so, two to three. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're looking at. When it gets down to it, like he said, it may be better just to hire contractors. But then we'd have to pay for the contract. Out of the general fund. Out of the, the general fund. fund. Well, if well, that's, a, that's what the application indicated. So there would be a contractor to help. Okay. But, but, we can do, but we can do it more cheaply than a contractor. Because the contractor, you've got the equipment and everything else involved. I don't see, again, charging the county for the use of the equipment. But it would be nice to get reimbursement for the out-of-pocket actual cost, which is fuel and labor. And you're gonna have to have water. You want to buy water or something? Yep. Okay. What did it say about contractors in the grant? We put that the contractor would there would be a contractor. We would hire a contractor at least for, to conduct the engineering part of the the uh, project, which they have. You know, they okay. provided some of the site plans anyway, but. It should be that um, there is an engineering blessing, a, cert you know, a certified engineer that blesses the overall project and how it is. Yeah, but that's separate from what you're talking yeah. about. That he's talking about actually hands-on labor to do the project. Right, right. I think water I understand would be material, that too. I mean, if you got to buy water, water would be material. It was just more a matter of buying water. So what about just getting a contractor to do that. It doesn't say we can't use a contractor, does it? Well, the way the application was written was that there would be partial contractor and partial counterpart. The, pro the, the, the problem is, is that, or the situation is, is that I think we can do about as good a job as a contractor, maybe better, and it would be a whole lot cheaper for the county. But it's just the question again was fuel and labor. A contractor is going to have fuel, labor, equipment, and a markup on it because they have to make a profit of some okay. sort. Okay, here's a possible solution. Figure what it's going to cost for your equipment and materials and whatever else that come out of the and any overtime because your 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 employees are already budgeted. So that's, that's not going to change anything there. If you get overtime, then that'll be something different. So, if and and we're fi figure out how much that will be and bring it, take it out of the the general fund. Well, we and just have to track it like we do for the other. We, we, we have for the tech stop project, 
they have codes for all of our equipment and a, a rate that we can charge for the equipment. And okay. then we have in there what our loaded up employee costs are, not just what you get per hour, but loaded with health insurance and everything else. And so we've got those numbers. Um, okay, those numbers are immaterial unless they work overtime. Okay, but whatever you have in equipment and fuel and materials and anything else, figure what that is and let the let the general fund compensate your fund and your fund. I think that's fair. Doing that. I think that'd be fair. And just, do, we have a, do we have an estimate of what material is going to cost for this property? We did back in December. I can tell you, well, in communication with Commissioner Pyle, indicated a couple months ago that there was another material that could be used that was cheaper than what was in the application. So it's just a matter of communicating. I don't have one right now. I don't have one off the top of my head right now, but um, the total project cost is 113000 That's a change. That's going to be, exactly consist of uh, uh, the heavy equipment putting down uh, the base pad or what, what's I've never seen a plan for the project, so I don't know what it's going to entail. It's clearing, excavation, um, like I said, an engineer, certified, a registered engineer uh, needs to bless it as well. Um, and then, uh, yes, the six inch it's, base pad. To, to me, Commissioner, it's going to be similar to um, building road. We're going to put down base material and work that into, into a very firm, for what, you know, I'm not an engineer, we'll see what they require, but into a very firm base, and then probably top that with uh, millings or something that is more substantial, uh, so that if we have an event, and it rains before the event, not everybody's walking in mud, or, or caliche from the I think all the of the specifications are already outlined in yeah. the... Yeah, and there's also a, uh, another entrance that will yeah, so you drive you in guys one just way, don't remember dump and go out together. Been a year ago. Yeah, it's been a while. You all received copies of the specs last December when we submitted this. So. It will tie into the existing. Right, it's location. tying into the existing yes. location. Yes, it is tying into the existing facility. It's not going to create a separate facility. It, 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 uh, the whole thing makes so much sense. The last one we had, um, we blocked it. They blocked, came in two ways ended up blocking an intersection almost a mile of vehicles up Highway 123. Here you've got a mile of, of uh, a county road that's paved, and so they can come in, they can line up, go through, and then come out. I mean, it's going to be so smooth compared to um, what we faced. It's not going to be fun. It will enable for us at a future time to consider uh, increasing capacity. Keeping in mind, though, that any, any increase in activities or capacity, um, I, I will have to submit a request for a new registration or permit for that before anything can be done. And once we get to the point of it, we getting the award letter and determination of when the start of the project will be, then we can come back with the plan of how the allocation is going to be and without knowing, seeing the numbers now, I, we can't give you that answer, but we will. Right, without seeing the agreement. Right. And the final thing to add, which we talked about before, aside from how efficient this thing could work, then all of these people who come out will then know where the collection facility is. Uh, because a lot of them will come and they'll say, do you have some place where we can take stuff other than this? And so it just, it makes so much sense. There'll be a point where the, the majority of the citizens of Wilson County will understand that uh, that that is out there and what the costs are. If all four precincts sent over some equipment and, and folks, would that you think that would cut the construction time down? I think that's I, I think that's a possibility, Commissioner. Uh, I was just. Uh, yeah, I think it probably would. We could figure out what we needed and how, how many pieces of equipment, and then we could just, you know, all get together and 
discuss how we're going to do it. And if we did that, we would have to worry about taking any money out of the general fund. Everybody would yeah. be contributing right. so much. Yep.